And because of this extreme heat, people living in Normal Heights are concerned about homeless encampments in the canyons below their homes. Uh, neighbors say they pose a huge fire risk. The area has seen many fires, in fact, in the past, including one in 1985 that destroyed more than 70 homes. CBS 8's Rocio De La Fe is working for you to find out what's being done to address the issue. Rocio? This behind me is a gate that SCG&E uses and says it's in the process of replacing for a much taller fence to keep people out of the canyons. Now, one neighbor I spoke to says that may be good news in this case, but there's another gate at the bottom of the hill that's been broken for several years, and he's wondering when it will finally be fixed. This broken chain link fence on Camino del Rio in Mission Valley is located at the bottom of the canyon below Normal Heights. Gerald Scholen has been living in the Normal Heights neighborhood for nearly 30 years and says he and other neighbors are worried about the potential fire risk in the canyons. Everybody's fearful of it and they're really uh, scared of what's going on. Scholen says the scaping hole has been in the fence for several years and it allows the homeless access inside the canyons. In this Google Maps satellite picture taken in 2022, you can see the hole is still there. He says he's been going back and forth with SCG&E in the city for about four years on getting it fixed. We don't want to see that happen again. We don't want to see firefighters put at risk. Back in 1985, a fire fueled by heavy brush and strong winds raced up the canyons and destroyed a total of 76 homes and damaged nearly 60 others. Phyllis House Cepeda, who also lives in the neighborhood, was here back in 1985 as the fire came dangerously close to her mother's house. There was a big loss for the people in the neighborhood. We continued to tell the story. We continued to commemorate the date June 30th, 1985. Phyllis says she's seen people inside the canyons. Seen trash, maybe some tents, you know, food debris, clothes, clothing, bikes. Things like that, yeah. But she believes the fire danger is present with or without homeless people inside the canyons. The Normal Heights fire is part of the reason why Sholin says he's been trying to put pressure on SCG&E and the city to address the gates on both sides of the hill. In a statement, SCG&E, which has access easements for major transmission lines and high press gas lines, says it has been made aware of the safety concerns of customers and is in consultation with the city of San Diego to replace the three-foot fence with a six-foot fence. But the company says that the fence on Camino del Rio South is located on private property, which belongs to the Carmelite Monastery. I reached out to the monastery, but was unable to reach anyone regarding the broken fence. The only reason that gate is there is to service the easement to allow the SCG truck to come in there. Uh, the church has no need for a gate down there. Now, since we started making some calls, the neighbor you just heard from says he was actually contacted by council member Sean Ela Rivera's office earlier today and was told that SCG&E is now looking to meet with the monastery, the council member and others with the city to discuss potential repairs to the gate on Camino del Rio South. Uh, really easy to understand why people who live in the area are so concerned, Rocio. Is there any time frame for when those repairs could happen? Well, no date has been set for that that we know of so far, but the council president did reach out to us and did say that his office will, quote, continue to work with residents and the parties involved to protect the safety of neighbors and their homes. Back to you. Rocio Delafay reporting from Normal Heights. Thanks, Rocio. And here at CBS 8, we want to help solve problems that are affecting you. If there's something you'd like us to look into, please email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.